this this council got a lot of grief two weeks ago or for a two week two and a half week period because we interpreted the governor's order literally and some of our neighbors regional neighbors chose not to do so they'd like to be in the position we're in today and i believe it's because the citizens of lubbock took this seriously reopening does not kill this virus as dr cook likes to say virus ain't got no legs okay and we've got to continue to do the right thing so we can prosper and when i say prosper i'm not talking about businesses prosper i mean us live our lives be able to go to football games this fall be able to send our kids to school be able to safely visit our grandparents in in ad adult homes There's a business on North University that was closed yesterday because they couldn't follow the rules. Our health department, our public health official have been on point the entire time. In fact, a lot of what you see from the state, I might add finally on some of these senior living facilities is what we've been doing here. And they've, we've, our folks are actually in conversation with the CDC about what we've learned. This contact tracing that the governor talked about yesterday, We've been doing contact tracing since case one, and we'll continue to do it. And we've got volunteers from the Health Science Center, medical students that are helping us do certain things that the health department does, and nurses from LISD helping us do certain things so we can put more of our RNs from the health department out doing contact tracing. That means that we wanna know where that person who's positive has been so we can keep people safe. That'll continue to be our goal as we reopen. Um, you know, the keys got taken away from us yesterday. You know, we were encouraged a month ago, six weeks ago, to take the lead and do the best things for our community. Well, the keys were taken away. And that's the governor's prerogative. But we're going to offer another, through, through this recommendation, we're going to offer what I think is a Lubbock safe uh, model that the state will copy because I believe it puts our citizens in the very best position to both enjoy retail, enjoy business, but to do it safely. 